Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notification. Today I'm going to be talking about iOS 13 as well as iPadOS and some of the changes that Apple has made to the interface, um, mouse support, and Xbox wireless controller support. With the latest update of iOS 13, you can now easily sync your Xbox wireless controller as well as a PS4 wireless controller and use it to play games such as Fortnite, Ark Survival, Real Racing 3. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay footage of me using the Xbox wireless controller on my iPad Pro. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> the built-in controller support in a lot of games is already pretty good. In Grid Autosport, I was able to use the Xbox controller to navigate through the menus and basically run the whole game. As well as in Fortnite, I was able to use the controller to run the whole game and I didn't have to press anything with my fingers. Another feature they've added was iOS 13 is the ability to connect uh, Bluetooth or wireless mouses. So if you downloaded iOS 13 and you want to get mouse support, all you have to do is go to accessibility settings, go to touch, go to assistive touch, and go to pointing devices. And from there you can pair a Bluetooth mouse such as a Magic Mouse or any other Bluetooth mouse. And you can even adjust what a left and right click does. Um, you can also go back and look at tracking speed, and you can change tracking speed for the mouse. I really like the ability to use Bluetooth and wireless mouses because of my photography workflow. Um, being able to make fine adjustments with a mouse is a lot better than using your finger, and making adjustments is way easier with a mouse. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more content like that in the future. Also, go down in the comments and let me know what you're most excited for about iOS 13, as well if you're ready for Xbox wireless controller support and PS4 wireless controller support to finally come to the iPad so we can get a real gaming experience.